Hey guys, it's Carly, and welcome to another episode of Is This Legit? Where we fact check viral videos being shared on YouTube, plus teach you some tips for fact checking on your own. Today, we're gonna be talking about the coronavirus vaccine, which has a lot of misinformation surrounding it. I recently came across this video from Rebel News. The video makes several claims, including that Bill Gates wants to make the vaccine mandatory for everyone, and that people who get the vaccine would face a one in 10,000 chance of death. It's time to find out. Is this legit? So, the video starts out with a censorship warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Yeah, not a great start. When watching videos making science-based claims, especially anything related to the coronavirus, it's best to avoid opinions and stick to concrete facts. The video literally warns you that it contains unpopular opinions. That right there should be a red flag. So the warning was a big clue that this might not be the best source. But with any fact check, it's best to take a look at who is sharing the information. This is super important because it can reveal a lot, like if they're biased or if they're an expert. Doing a quick keyword search of Rebel News, I found their Wikipedia page. I know, our teachers always said, you shouldn't trust Wikipedia, but it can actually be a really good starting point. There is a right way and a wrong way to use Wikipedia. See this lock right here? These pages are more trustworthy, since it means the page can't be edited by just anyone. You should also follow the little numbers down to references to make sure you're getting the whole story. Those fact checkers just skip right down to the bottom. And you want to see if there's a little warning at the top of the page. Wikipedia will put a disclaimer on pages that may be biased or not well sourced. Since that all checks out, here's how Wikipedia described Rebel News. Rebel News is a Canadian far-right political and social commentary media website. Additionally, they're pretty notorious for broadcasting anti-Muslim ideology. Okay, so clearly there's some bias here. But let's take a deeper dive into the actual video. So he wants a vaccine for the coronavirus to be mandatory for every single human to be forced to take it. To see if this is true, I did a simple Google search of Bill Gates coronavirus vaccine mandatory and found this article from PolitiFact. PolitiFact is a fact-checking website, which, like MediaWise, is part of the Pointer Institute. And, according to the article, there was a video of Bill Gates circulating the web a little while back, where he said, you don't have a choice. But, it turned out to be completely taken out of context, and PolitiFact ultimately gave the video a false rating. Basically, the video being circulated cut out the question Gates was responding to, as well as the first part of his answer to make it seem like he supports mandatory coronavirus vaccinations. In reality, Bill Gates was asked by an interviewer what he thinks the trade-off is between protecting the economy and the lives of people. According to the article, Bill Gates responded by saying that he didn't think governments would be able to avoid taking an economic hit from the pandemic, even if they decide to reopen businesses before a vaccine is available. But another great and simple media literacy tip is to go directly to the source. If you see a post that's like, so-and-so said, well then go to their account and see if they actually said it. I went to Bill Gates' blog. Gates notes. Bill Gates did write that he thinks that we need to have the vaccine available to almost every person, but never uses the word mandatory. So to quickly recap, no. Rebel News claim that Bill Gates thinks the vaccine should be mandatory for all people is not legit. While Bill Gates did say that we won't get back to normal until most people are vaccinated and we need vaccines available to do that, claims that Bill Gates thinks the vaccine should be mandatory or people shouldn't have a choice are straight up false. Okay, on to the next claim. And who knows? I mean, he says maybe you're gonna get one in 10,000 people dying. Just one in 10,000, eh? This one in 10,000 sounded weird to me, so I did some research. I had to refine my keyword search a couple of times, but I eventually found the FDA's briefing documents from the Pfizer vaccine trials. The Food and Drug Administration approves all vaccines that are administered in the United States. So FDA documents are a great place to find official stats. As you can see in the table, two out of 21,000 trial participants who got the vaccine died. This doesn't mean that the COVID-19 vaccine has a one in 10,000 chance of killing you. It means that one out of 10,000 vaccine trial participants died during the trial. But let's take a closer look at the actual cause of death and what researchers say. One of those two people died from a heart attack while the other died from arteriosclerosis. But was that actually due to the vaccine? Check out this note from the researchers. All deaths represent events that occur in the general population of age groups where they occurred at a similar rate. In other words, the number of people who died of these causes in the vaccine trials 
are consistent with the number of people who die of these causes in general. Another document from the FDA says, none of these deaths were assessed by the investigator as related to the study intervention. So there really isn't any evidence that suggests that your chance of dying from the COVID-19 vaccine is one in 10,000. This final claim is not legit. Remember, when it comes to information about vaccines, lean on trusted expert sources and of course, your own doctor. And when it comes to claims you see online, remember that a simple keyword search can go a really long way. If you're interested in more fact checks and media literacy tips, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you see anything you want us to check out, shoot us a link. Bye guys. Don't compromise, be media wise.